Hey, this is Jamie with Stillmeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in Ascension, the classic deck building game that I think followed up Dominion as one of possibly the second uh, deck building game. Uh, one thing that Ascension did back in the day that was extremely innovative that I want to mention today as a mechanism that I really enjoy, even though it isn't innovative in today's terms, is that it was the first deck building game that I'm aware of to implement a row of cards instead of stacks of cards Dominion style. In fact, m this kind of revolutionized the concept because so many um, deck building games now, including many of my favorites, use the card river or card row style of bringing out new cards and making them available to players, including one of my favorite games, Clank. Uh, so I really like that concept of, of, of the card the card row. Uh, it creates a lot of variability, a lot of randomness, and a lot of interesting decision points in the game. And one of the things that I really like about that, again, that is also done by Clank, but this was done well before Clank, is the idea that uh, you have two different resources that you can spend in that card row. One, you can, you can gain more cards into your deck, but you can also fight things to gain one-time power. So you, you, if you destroy the, uh, the Sea Tyrant, then you gain a one-time benefit for destroying it. So you have two different resources that you can spend. And the thing that I think is interesting here, not that it's necessarily better than a game like Star Realms, where you're facing off with another player and trying to reduce their life to zero. Um, I think it's interesting that there is interaction in this game based on kind of uh, which player will get to these cards first, will, will gain cards first, will defeat different cards first, but you're not actually hurting the other player. You're interacting with the cards in the middle, not directly the other player. So it is a one-on-one -on -one game, essentially a dueling game, but you are not, uh, you're not hurting the other player. Um, and I think that's, that's a really interesting form of interaction. I like that in a game. Uh, yeah, I like that a lot, actually. The other thing I want to mention is that, I mean, this, this definitely probably adds to the, the price point of Ascension, but it includes a board. And while there are cons to the board, it adds to the size of the box. I actually really like having a board in a game like this because it means that Every, the, the entire interface is communicated to you very clearly. The number of cards that you need to put out in the card row is communicated by the board. You don't have to remember that. You don't have to look at setup to remember that. Uh, the various positions for the other ty types of cards. Like if, say you forget to put the cultist out, it might get stuck on the bottom of the deck. You have a spot here that says cultist. Remember to put the, cult, the cultist here. It's always there. Um, and even on each side of the board, it's a two-player game. It has instructions about what to do on your turn. A, a giant player aid built into the board itself. Is it necessary? No. But I do think sometimes card games forget that there are things that the card games are requiring you to remember to put out in play as you play the game. And having a board or some sort of mat or even some sort of reference card can help you remember that stuff instead of having to refer to the rules. And so I kind of actually like that Ascension has the board. It was somewhat reassuring. Oh, and one other thing about it, um, because you are gaining cards from this board, from this center row, having a board makes it easier to pick up those cards because you can slide them off the board, kind of tilt them up as you get them off and pick them up. Whereas I'm sure you've experienced this, if you have cards on a table, sometimes it can be hard to kind of get your fingernails under those cards and actually pick them up. So having a board actually creates, it improves, I think, the user experience for getting those cards off the board and into your deck or discarded off the board if you defeat a monster. So component, mechanism, in a very innovative game for, for its time. I have, oh, and I should mention that this is not the first time I've played Ascension, but I realized that I've never done a video about it, and I played it very recently with Megan and had a lot of fun with it, so I wanted to mention it in a video today. Uh, so yeah, those are my favorite mechanisms in Ascension. If you've played Ascension, you've probably played, if you have played it, you've probably played much more than I have, and I've probably played some of the expansions. So I'd love to hear what your favorite expansion for Ascension is and what your favorite mechanism in that expansion is that elevates it and makes you really enjoy it. I'd love to hear your thoughts about that in the comments below. Thanks.